So what are we depositing on the eggshell? Carbon. Carbon. There's a bubble around that egg. Well, you guys ready to start Midnight Science Club? I mean, it's not midnight yet, but Hello. I guess so. It's always midnight someplace on the planet. True. True. It's, it's not just, midnight here yet. Not midnight yet. here, necessarily. One of my special wizard hats to, to wear. Yay. You like this? Yeah. Now, what was the question you had? What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why is there a goofy pin? <laughs> <laughs> This is just a, a, I won't say silly little activity, but it does demonstrate something. You guys like to do activities where things blow up, you know, there's chemical, mm -hmm. chemical reactions, but right? But we're trying not to make it blow up. Yeah. When something explodes, usually, or there's a fire explosion, it's because a chemical reaction is mm -hmm. taking place, and atoms are coming together and reconnecting, and then they throw off some energy. Mm -hmm. when they, sometimes when they do, they explode. Because some chemicals, well, wham, they come together. Because sometimes there's this attraction between atoms and they want to bind together. But there's also the opposite. What would be the opposite of that? Atoms going and dividing. Going apart. As is in nature many places, some things do not get along well. And they actually are repellent of each other. Like, go away. I don't like you. And here's two of them. Right here they are. Now, it's surprising. You just think these two fellows don't get along together. I've got a bottle of, what is this? Bottle of water. i got some water. Charcoal. This, yeah, this is carbon. powder. Carbon does not particularly care for water. Just one of those things. So sad. They're repulsive. They say, no, just go away. And carbon is one of the friendliest atoms. That's why we use it all the time. Carbon is used in more chemical compounds than anything else. That's why we say we're carbon-based. You heard that on Star Trek. You are a carbon-based life form. That makes an interesting thing to see. Would you fire up that candle? You might say, where am I going to get some carbon? I don't have a jar of carbon laying around the house. Do you have carbon laying around the house? I have no idea. Believe it or not, that candle is mostly carbon. And that yellow flame right there is uh, hot carbon. It's so hot it's glowing. So if I could capture some of that yellow stuff right there and cool it down, I would get carbon. I can mm -hmm. see. You grab one of these eggs here, buddy, and just hold it in the flame. I like to use the eggshells because they're usually they're white or light brown. And just hold it in the flame and see if you can collect some of that carbon from the flame. We're making cooked eggs over here. Uh, the cooked eggs? I don't think we're really burning the eggshell. I think we're just collecting the carbon from the flame. You the eggshell could say otherwise, but I, it can't talk. So. And you could use a, a raw egg like that one is, or a hard-boiled egg if you're afraid mm -hmm. of dropping it and making a mess. So what are we depositing on the eggshell? Carbon. Carbon. Here it is. It's combined with hydrogen and oxygen. That wax is a hydrocarbon. Got up there, it's side. just pure carbon. You go ahead and blow that out there. And look what we've got here. How repulsive carbon is to water is you're going to try to pick up one of these eggs this way without disturbing the carbon and, okay. and hold it here. And then we're very carefully going to lower it into the water. Get yourself an egg loaded on there. And I want okay. you to describe what you're seeing. So what are you seeing now before you go in? The egg is completely coated with carbon. Now let's slowly lower it in there. What do it you see? It has a bubble. It looks glass. Now pull it back out. How wet is it? Almost not wet at all. Well, you just submerge that thing completely in water, and the only place the water is collecting is where? You see it right there? The one spot where there's not carbon. Yeah, and that was wet. it's wet right there, but look, the whole thing is dry. It creates a bubble. There's a bubble around it. It almost makes it look like silver, doesn't it? Like a glass bubble. There's a bubble around that egg. That's sweet. Let's try to reduce. Hold it straight up and down and go down real slow. Oh, look at that. Look at that bubble around his egg. It's like a little bag of air around the outside of the egg. So what would you say about carbon and water? Very hydrophobic. You got the word, man. <laughs> you got the word, it is hydrophobic. Yeah. It does not like that water. You stay away from it. Those atoms are repelling each other. The places where there's lots of uh, carbon on there, they're dry as bone, aren't they? So we saw the word phobic, <laughs> hydrophobic. I don't like water. Water repelling carbon and vice versa. They just yep. don't get along. You saw it right here at Midnight Science Club. All right. So everybody say goodbye. See Bye. ya. Give me your goofy what is it? What is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Careful. Don't drop the egg. Don't drop the egg. I right. never said I'm going right. to drop mine because it's slightly tilted. Sweet.